In the heart of academia, a philosophy professor stands before his class, the quiet hum of anticipation filling the room. In his hands, an empty mayonnaise jar, large and clear, becomes an unlikely prop in this lesson of life. Without a word, he begins to fill the jar with large, rough rocks until they reach the brim. He poses a question to the class, is the jar full? The students, uncertain of where this is going, agree that indeed, the jar appears full. But the professor's lesson is far from over. From a bag, he produces small pebbles, pouring them into the jar. They tumble and settle among the large rocks, filling the spaces in between. Once more, he asks, is the jar full? The students, catching on to the professor's trick, hesitantly agree. Finally, the professor produces a bag of fine sand, pouring it into the jar. The sand filters through the pebbles, filling the remaining crevices until the jar is truly full. A silence settles over the room as the professor explains the metaphor. The rocks, he reveals, symbolize the most important things in life. Our health, our passions, our family. These are the big, grounding forces that anchor us in our existence. The pebbles, they represent secondary priorities, our work, our friendships, the commitments that fill our days. Lastly, the sand signifies the small stuff, the minutia that often consumes our time and attention. The message behind this demonstration? It's a lesson in prioritization, a reminder to focus on the rocks in our life before anything else. If we fill our time and energy with the sand, we leave no room for what truly matters, the rocks and the pebbles. Remember, life is not about filling our days with trivialities that leave us feeling overwhelmed and unfulfilled. It's about understanding our priorities, making room for what truly matters, and allowing the rest to fill the spaces in between. It's about recognizing that sometimes the most valuable treasures in life are not always the most obvious. So as you journey through life, remember the philosophy professor's lesson. Prioritize your rocks, allow room for your pebbles, and let the sand fall into place. Because in the grand scheme of life, it's not about having a full jar, but about understanding what